Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. So today we are going to be doing some tillage, but we've got some more demo machinery. The dealership is sure trying to get us to uh, spend some money this coming up uh, winter. They sent us an 8RT370 and a Landall. Do, 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 I don't remember. 7431. I had literally made like 30 feet with our cultivator and uh, they showed up with that setup. And this guy is being a royal pain in my ass with this area up here. It just does not want to turn correctly. It wants to take its... Uh, Take some nice wide turns that are too wide. I have had to refill this thing once so far already. But uh, it's moving right along. So this is the Landall by BC Bueller Modding. Uh, this is on the Giants Mod Hub. Uh, and this is set up to mulch uh, at the same time. Or it's set up as a stubble cultivator, I should say. Holy smokes here. Um, is what it's set up as. So, uh, let's flip this GPS line. Perfect. Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of tillage today and for the next couple of days uh, we've got a lot of it to get done and uh, so we're going to work on getting this done hopefully the plan is uh, in December uh, is when we're going to be selling our grain if we take a look here super quick December is the highest for oats, and uh, corn is pretty high in December as well, so we're probably just going to sell everything in one go, um, and just kind of roll with that. <clears throat> so we will be having to move some snow and uh, whatnot this winter so we can get around to uh, moving some grain out and I'm only gonna work on a portion of this field for right now until that guy is done just because I don't want to end up in his way We're just going to go down a ways, probably right before that uh, spot that he last covered there. And uh, just kind of see what we can manage to get done today. Whatever I don't get done on camera on this field, we will... Uh, or I will go ahead and get done off camera. Uh, that way. Oh, let's go back up here. Let's go over one here. Oops. Let's just raise it up. Did not turn quite soon enough. Oops. Been a while since I've driven a two track tractor like this, so kind of got to get the hang of it again. And I'm sure that this guy is going to screw himself, so we're just going to take him off right away and just be done with it because I don't feel like putzing around with this guy any uh, more than I have to, so away you go, sir. And 
but uh, let's keep on rolling. So yeah, so we're just going to sell everything in December and uh, go from there. And I think what I might end up doing, we don't have the train currently, but it's still showing the prices. So what we might end up doing is uh, I might just, um, when it comes time to when we sell, I'll sit down and I'll figure out how much we would make if we were to actually be able to sell to the train. And then we'll get everything sold. Oh, I need to smooth that out yet at some point. Um, once we get everything sold to just the regular uh, sell point over there in town, uh, I'll just figure out how much we should have made selling to the train. And then we will, um, or I will go in and I'll just add in that amount because uh, the train is how we would be selling if we could but unfortunately at the exact moment we are unable to do so uh, until the update comes out and once that comes out then we'll be able to uh, constantly sell to the train. And so that is going to be the way that we do things. Uh, just because it kind of maximizes our profits. So we definitely want to try and get the most bang for our buck. And he is once again blocked by an object. How surprising. Let's see what he's got going on now. All right. I think this is his last pass here next anyways. So since we're already in this, we'll just take over. Excuse me. We'll just take over on it. And we'll spread this last little bit. And then we will take it and top it off. Uh, in the yard there. And we'll get it moving on the next one. And while I'm thinking of it, we need to go into our precision farming. And we need to reset... Our yield maps, otherwise I'm going to forget. And I should have cleared this too, but I didn't. So that, okay, that field's been reset. 9, 10, those have been reset. We need to reset 28 as well. Perfect. So we definitely need to do some... Uh, Fertilizing when we start seeding. But we will uh, get to that point eventually. Uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to start only doing our fertilizer with our planters. We're not going to spread ahead of time, so... We will pull up under our auger here. Get it fired up and get this thing loaded. How are we doing on this? So we're still 86% full. So I think we should hopefully have enough lime uh, in our bin there to uh, spread all of our fields uh, without running out. 
but we may, and we're probably going to end up having to haul in some more lime um, before spring, because my goal is to sell uh, to sell off our grain and hopefully purchase some more land. And if we uh, do that, then we're going to have to do some more uh, land work. Which that'll take a lot of uh, lime application to get those fields where we want them. But, uh, you know, similar to how it's going with these fields here, um, once we kind of get it, uh, once we get that first initial round on from the beginning, then, uh, then it's pretty easy to keep up with everything uh, it's just kind of that first time of doing it that is a little bit of a pain but that's all right we'll manage to get through her So you guys can see the little bit that I did before Sean pulled up with this uh, outfit here. It is a very, very nice outfit. I, uh, I really like the operations of it. And I think it'll be very handy. I think something similar to this... Uh, to add to our fleet would definitely be nice in the future. Alright, now let's get squared up with this last pass here that we did. And then we'll go back up and we'll do a couple of headland passes, a couple more headland passes up there, and then we'll be set to roll. And we'll uh, get some makers knocked out as fast as possible so we can get moving. Uh, I do got to take a look at, uh, well, figure out what exactly uh, we're going to run for crops because I know if uh, we wanted to do, well, I guess we're already past our deadline for winter wheat, but we could put in spring wheat. But uh, pretty much everything is in the spring, so... We'll just kind of play it by ear. Uh, I'll get that figured out here soon, and we can uh, start planning for next uh, spring. Be uh, year four on Edgewater. We're definitely. Uh, Building our way up. Oh, um, we're definitely a lot further along than we were when we started this series. We've got a bit more land and a little bit bigger of uh, machinery. And we're starting to crank out more grain and hopefully get us a little more profit. And uh, keep moving us forward on this series here.
and with us uh, running this tool over our fields it'll leave that stubble and then when we seed it'll stay like this it'll just darken up a little bit because of us seeding and fertilizing over top of it and then it'll make it a little easier for us next spring when we go to roll our fields so So that's going to be a uh, big help for us. We get this last headland pass done, and then. Uh, get on to our GPS lines and really knock this field out. And I am going to skip a row so then when we work our way back we'll end up back over here and we can continue on the other half of this field. And I might have mentioned it before but I'll mention it again. The fields I'd like to purchase are 5, 8, and 29, and then we'd combine uh, 5, 8, 9, and 10 all together and have a nice large field there, and then we'd combine 28 and 29 together as well. Um, and really have a good amount of acres to uh, be running, which would be very, very nice. And if we end up being able to afford it and having the money left over, I'd like to pick up two and three as well. But we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves because we do also want to upgrade some machinery, especially to be running that much land. Uh, we definitely want to upgrade a little bit. So after we've sold our grain... Um, the first thing I think we're going to do probably is, well, we're going to pull a bunch of machinery out of our buildings. Um, basically, everything that we want to trade in, we're going to pull out. And uh, get it all set out so that way we know where what we all have and where everything's at. And then we will get everything uh, sold and then we'll start uh, replacing it need to set down the cruise control a little bit so that way we don't speed up so bad whenever uh, we're coming off of a pass but uh, yeah so equipment is probably going to be first uh, the main things that I kind of want to change is going to be getting a bit bigger of a main workhorse um, I think we're going to keep the international and sell off the uh, 4755 just because uh, the International can run the sprayer. So then we'll upgrade the 4755 to something a bit bigger. And then uh, we'll just keep the International for our sprayer for the time being until we can upgrade that. Main things I want to upgrade is our air seeder and our corn planter. Uh, for this season, for sure, and then a different truck, and probably different set of, uh, probably a different hopper trailer as well. Uh, maybe we'll look at getting a bigger rig and some super bees or something, if possible, and then uh, get rid of the versatile and get a bit bigger of a tractor. 
Maybe something like this. Uh, I wouldn't mind something similar to this, but we'll kind of have to see. Maybe we won't be able to afford quite this big or this new yet. But uh, I think I think we'll run our combine and our headers another year. Uh, and then we'll probably also look into upgrading our grain cart as well to something a little bit bigger, nothing too crazy, but just a little bit bigger than this one. And I'm just taking a look here. I want to take another look at uh, BC Bueller's video showing what, uh, showing the crop info for this map. Uh, and then that'll kind of help in planning out what uh, crops we're going to do. We might do some uh, barley and sunflowers next season. And maybe we'll uh, plant corn again. We just got to keep our rotation in mind so if we do plant corn we'll probably do it on our other fields so if we can get fields five and eight and combine it with nine and ten uh, we'd probably run corn in that big guy and then maybe we'll put oats over here in field one and then we'll do field 50 and uh, 28, 29, if we can get 29, do those in barley or something or sunflowers. Something to kind of switch it up, but I do want to kind of try and stay with the more higher yielding crops, um, especially for right now while we're trying to get ahead. We could always just uh, run oats and corn again, or corn and something else, and just do a monstrous amount of corn. But I don't want to, like, like, I definitely don't want to plant all of our fields in one crop, because then it just gets tiring and you're in the same season and it's the same crop same header you know just everything's the same and I'd rather not do that um, if I don't have to but alright so we got this guy over here is done now let's see do I have a course for this for field 28 I do so we'll load up field 28 and then we're gonna run up there and do that first and our weeds are just gonna be back in the spring but that's alright we'll just plant uh, we'll just till them all under with our planters
I do still need to go in and fix our grass, but like I said before, I'll do that at another time. At a uh, later date. Hopefully in another year or two, we can kind of revamp the uh, farmyard there. And kind of uh, change it up a little bit. Would definitely like to uh, expand our yard a little and kind of make it a little bit nicer. Maybe get a bigger shop and whatnot to accommodate a lot more machinery. It would definitely be nice to uh, be able to have everything inside except for maybe our auger. Our big auger anyways. But it would be nice to kind of keep everything else inside. And I would also like to change out our uh, <clears throat> uh, seed tender to a nicer one uh, that I just recently downloaded. Now is this our start point or our end point? Yes, that's our start point. Could not remember how this one was set up for the spreader. All right, let him unfold, do his thing, and off he goes. Perfect. Now we can jump back over here into our 8R, and we'll keep on doing some tillage. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this field finished off camera. And then I'm going to do field 50. And then tomorrow's video we will, uh, I'll do a time lapse. And we'll finish tillage and we'll get 28, 9, and 10 all done in one video. And uh, do it high speed fashion, I think. So... That's probably what we're going to do, just to kind of speed up the process. I don't think you guys want to watch like a whole week worth of tillage and nothing else. I know I wouldn't want to, so I'm not going to make you guys watch a week worth of tillage. Because that's probably what it would be if I... You know, I mean, we've, we're have we about done with today's episode, so if I just finished up this section, well then, that section over there would be another video, and then 50, and like, part of 28 or something would be another video. It would just be way too hectic and way too much. It'd be another probably four or five videos of just tillage. So, I will uh, do a fair bit of it off camera and then time lapse whatever is left. Just to make things a little bit faster and a little bit nicer for you guys as well. But alrighty, folks, I think that's going to do it for today. 
Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, folks, we'll see you all tomorrow.